Hey you guys, so in today's video I will be stepping out of my comfort zone. Disclaimer, take your time, pause, and read this please. And once you've read it, then you'll understand what it took for me to make this video. <laughs> and before making this video, I've been reading this book called Modern Lady's Guide to Elegance. I'll get more into what this book is about at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Hi you guys. So today I'll be doing a video that's a little bit different. As you guys can see, one of the rare occasions where my face is beat. Yeah, one of my friends beat my face for the occasion. If you see the video title by now, you will know that I am trying to step out of my comfort zone and let's just get started. But before we jump in, look at the shirt. Look, 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 look. This shirt is by Mimi Black. And it says nude, which stands for never underestimate the definition of elegance. Yes, I'm reading it as I'm talking to y'all. Don't judge me. <laughs> but thank you for joining me today. I am going to be trying on three different looks. Um, I'm totally stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, I am not the type to wear clothing that is tight or, you know, that shows off my shape or anything. It's not my comfort thing. I'm very comfortable in boho chic style. The flowy, the slouchy, that's me all the way through. I'm also very comfortable with, um, Afrocentric looks. But when it comes to, like, the fabulous skin tight cleavage showing um shape forming whatever kind of looks short short um i mean if it's short then it's gonna be a little baggy or slouchy up top but that's not usually my comfort zone so today i'm stepping out of my comfort zone and <sighs> bear with me so the three looks that I'm going to try are actually three dresses that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I'm going to show you guys these dresses right now. Um, and before, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to give that shape because the dresses are um, really tight to the body. So I want to get it as, you know, flawless as possible. So I'm wearing a shaper. See, holding everything in place. You know, trying to not have any bumps or anything going on. And I will put the information on where I got my shaper in the description box below. So I got three dresses. The first dress I got from Pretty Little Thing is this red dress right here. As you can see, um, it's like a jersey material, which I did not know until I got it. Until they got, you know, to me. It's a jersey material kind of scrunch up dress at the bottom with a deep v-neck lord knows me and deep v-necks are not the best of friends because i am busty and this is the back see with this dress i am going to pair it off with some well you'll see the next dress that i have is this really cute white um like almost wrap dress it doesn't open all the way it's just you know you tie it on the side it's a cute little short white dress it is much bigger than I expected um and look at the back so cute 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 it is a bit bigger than I expected I tend to think I'm bigger than I really am once again when you well for me as being a busty girl I tend to think I'm bigger than I am until I buy the clothes and it's like swallowing my body and the third dress that I have is right here. This one is really, really cute to me. And I would wear this, but not the bottom half. Like if it's a top, definitely have tops like this because it's loose. So here you go, it's sheer right here. It's sheer at the top, high neck, which is not usually my best friend because once again, I'm busty. So high necks make me look a little bit heavier and sheer sleeve look at this i love these little um what what is it like a peasant peasant top like sleeve or whatever i like this little peasant look and when you go down 
Oh, don't mind that. I tried this dress on before, so I could know whether or not I was keeping it in and I had deodorant on. But yeah, so when you look down, it's tighter at the bottom. See? So when you go down, it's a bit tighter at the bottom. And that's where I tend to get a little uncomfortable because once again, it's not like I always had an issue with my midsection. It's just that I'm so busty at the top. When anything's tight on me, it gives me certain attentions that I'm not comfortable with, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so I'm going to try these on and stay tuned. So the first dress that I tried on is the Black Bodycon Pleasant Blouse Top Dress Combo. And as you can see, I really, really love, you know, the way it sits. I mean, it wouldn't be my ideal dress to wear, once again, due to comfort, but it really looks nice. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Not too bad, not too shabby at all. And of course, I love the sleeves. I decided to pair off this look with these candy red pumps that I got from Steve Madden a couple of years ago. And I think it really turned out cute. Now for the second look, I could say by far this is probably my favorite. Um, of course, with the deep V, I could always put something underneath. But it's less tight I guess it's not that form fitting which I'm way comfortable with and with this look I decided to pair it off with these cute burgundy pumps not pumps I'm sorry sandals that I got from Fashion Nova a little while ago and I think it turned out cute now for this last look you guys um this dress I will say is probably my least favorite of the bunch <laughs> as you can see it is way too small at the top it is like made my backside disappear way too tight it is not forgiving at all and i threw on these black pumps to go with this dress but i was not a fan oh my gosh all my goodies are out this dress is a no I don't care what you say, but this dress is not. My boobies were way too big for this dress. Out of everything I tried on, this dress, I'm going to give it away. I, ha I It doesn't fit right. Like, look at what I have to do, for goodness sake, to try to keep everything inside. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot close off like this. I have to go change. I'll be right back. So that was it, you guys. Um, that last dress was a no-go. I definitely had to change. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, just let me know. I am so happy because I came across this book called, uh, what's the name of that book? Let me get back to you. So the title of the book is called A Modern Lady's Guide to Elegance by Mimi Black can see if you can't see it's okay I am going to insert a clip um, and this book is amazing if you don't know what body shape you have what clothes flatter your shape and all of that good stuff because ladies you know we always have that issue with our body shape so for me um, what I discovered in this book interestingly enough there's five different body shapes um, and I'm not gonna give it away if you want to know check out the book but there's five different body shapes. I would count as an hourglass because of my shape, my measurements, because I'm a 35, 32, 41. But I still feel like I look a little square, so I call myself a square glass. It is what it is. So um, using this book, I was able to see what clothes would fit my shape best. And... Um, and I, I, I found it quite interesting and I think it was like genius to create such a book because not too many women out there know what kind of shape they have, what clothes flatter them best. I've seen so many do not do's in the 
style or fashion life of blogging so definitely this is a great guide so you can know what to do and what looks best on you um it's a quick read it's an easy read and what i love about the book oh my gosh what i love about the book it gives you pictures pictures of what that shape would look like um for example like the hourglass she actually inserted an hourglass like that's awesome just in case you didn't know she even included certain celebrities you may know so you can refer to that celebrity to see how their body looks and what they've worn and what looks good on them so i definitely found it to be great for a great guide for those of us who don't know what to wear what complements our body um and also because we're still in quarantine believe it or not i don't care what you say i'm still in quarantine but yeah quarantine will be over soon in jesus name so this is a perfect time to learn your body to know what fits what make looks good on you because some people feel like oh my goodness all i need to do is lose weight no losing weight you may lose inches but your shape stays your shape so it's best that you know what looks good with your shape okay so thank you so much for joining me today and definitely i'll be inserting the link to the ebook below and the merch never underestimate the definition of elegance I'm going to definitely insert the link to the merch so you can get the merch, get the ebook, and be ready for after quarantine. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, and be sure to comment, like, and definitely turn on that notification bell for the next video.